Well guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are watching this, we got these right here called Ace Racing Harnesses, right there. There's a little bag they give you, looks pretty cool. Now you got all this cluster right here, a whole cluster of this. So if you guys never installed these kind of racing harnesses, these are the five point harnesses with the clips in them right here. These are really nice to have. I got them orange because as you can see, my machine's orange. They will be brown or black by the time I'm done riding, but we're gonna give you guys a quick rundown how to change these out. If you guys haven't changed them out before, they're not too difficult. Uh, if you're like me, I got a roll cage here. So these are in the way of my bolts coming out. So I have to manually do these. These are an 18 or 16 millimeter on top. And these in the bottom are, they should be a three quarters or an 18. I use the three quarters because they fit a little better in there and snugger, just because I don't have much room. And then you're gonna come down here and take these bottom bolts off right here, which are kind of hard to see. And these are a 16 and 18 too. And then you're gonna come to the front. And then you're gonna get another set of 16 18s over here. And you're gonna take all these out. So we're gonna run through it real quick, guys. Get my three quarter, get it in there. Get my 16 millimeter, put it on top. And then I need a little bit of an extra ump on this one. So I'm going to take this, put it here, and break it loose. So 16 on top, 3 quarter, 18. 3 quarter just fits in there better for me. Um, I don't know if they put different ones in there for me or not, but I can at least get this in there. On this one, guys, Unless we take off the inside bracket here, we can't really get to it. So we're gonna go back to our 18 millimeter. loose put a bolt back on there throw it on the ground whatever you want to do There's a three quarter bolt here to hold on the inner section of this for some reason. So I got that off. Goes right here. For some reason, I don't know why they put that on there. It could be an 18, but it's not. I tried getting 18 on there. It's a quarter, three quarters. So I'll get that one off so I get this off. They run across, I'll take a picture and show it to you right here. They run across this part here. So I'm gonna have to do this to get to the underneath here to get to the, the front bolt to take that one out. So I can lift this up. So, uh, I'll take a picture and zoom it in right Okay, if you're watching, if you're watching right here, guys, this right here, we have this where the bracket mounts. The top was an 18, the bottom's a 16, but it will not come out because there's one of these that's stuck underneath. So what you gotta do is take this bolt out right here. So like this one here, I took it out right here, lifted it up. Now push it back down. And then the bolt will go right back through. 
and then kind of right back where it was tightened down and this is a 13 millimeter so you definitely want to make sure you whoops So I'm doing is kind of showing you through here guys a little bit and that's this part here where I'm tightening down in these front bolts once you take them out you're not going to need them on the other ones because the other ones have the four points of harness which are going to mount back here I'll show you guys which will mount back in these ones in here so they'll mount if I get them back out they'll mount one back here on this side one will go on this side and another side one will go here up top but the other one's going to go over here on top the third one, we're going to make a self hole tapping hole. We're going to drill it right through here in the frame. Okay. So if you see, this is the bolt right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 13 millimeter bolt out. We're just taking this one out, guys. And this is the one that goes across. You can't really get a wrench in there unless you maybe, I mean, you can't really get an impact in there unless you run it across. You probably could do it different ways, but I'm not going to. Go feed out on some impact stuff right now, even though I got like two of them sitting here in my lap. So, I'm gonna pull this one out right here in the middle. The other way. So, we're getting this one out. We're gonna lift this up. As you guys can see, it gives me enough to get my 16 millimeter bolt underneath. Okay, I got my other impact here with a 18 millimeter. Make some noise. Slide it back. Get your bolts out because you're not going to need those. Slide this back down and put your bolt back through. Remember, you're not going to need this. This is just adjustment for your tracks here, and you're not going to need this front one. You're not going to need this one anymore because of the, the five points that we're putting it at. Okay, now that we got all that out, I'm take the old harness and um, razor harness, keep it for a souvenir. Or toss it across the... Sorry. No, I'm just kidding, nobody's in here. So we're going to put it across like that and take care of it. Now we're gonna come back and just put our harness together. The same way, the only thing different is gonna be this lower one. We'll start up with the top, we'll show you guys there. It's, it goes in way more easier than it comes out, so. If you're still watching this, I don't know, one, I don't know why. I'm gonna take my nice little bright orange harness that's never gonna be bright. I'm gonna take my bright orange harness that'll never be bright again, which I'm, is a bad idea for me to ever buy. Take my harness, run the bolt through the top, run it down in here like this, over top, hold down two fingers of the bolt, and screw. Yep, other side, make sure it's lined up. Do the same thing, pop your bolt in, got your nut underneath, drop it in, and If you're watching, I mean, we just, like I said, I got it that way so I can run it across. One bolt goes in over here, goes through, and into the bracket. Lined up, make sure they're all straight. I mean, you can rotate them around, do the same thing over here. Bolt through here, in your bracket. Oops, in your bracket, and then tighten it down. And the last part, once we got this in here, here, we're just gonna, we put a heavy duty bolt through here, uh, a grade A bolt, which you don't really need. But we put that in there just to make sure it's safe. And this will be the one that goes up through the middle of the seat here for the five point harness. Okay guys, so we're finishing up here on the project. Right here, you see behind this, we got the Ace Racing seats. They're about 600, 700 bucks for a pair of them. They're really nice. We went and got the racing harness just because we do the Red Bull races and a few other ones. They told you to get the three inch ones, but I went with the two just because I like them. Um, they are the five point harnesses. So they got the one that goes in between the legs. I like that, especially when you roll over, it's good to have that you know nice foundation. 
In this front one, I actually bolted through the front of the frame. You'll see in the install video of the seat belts. The seats were pretty simple. You just take the other ones out, put the brackets on there, two brackets, measure them out, and then bolt them in. That was it. But besides that, guys, these are really nice seats. Uh, if you got any questions about them, just let me know. Um, we're going to go try them out hopefully this weekend. Uh, we blew out a drive line and we blew out a radiator this week. So if they come in quick enough, we'll have them. If not, hey, um, I guess I don't know what we're going to be doing. But we'll see you guys in the next video and you guys have a good day.